Hello bee people, welcome back to Let's Talk About Bees. This is our first episode. We're gonna be talking about why are the bees disappearing. But this is not your traditional video on why are the bees disappearing, so stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm pretty sure you have seen uh, videos about why are the bees disappearing and maybe some documentaries. Uh, actually, if you haven't, um, I'm gonna link a video of one of my mentors. She's Marla Spivak and she made a talk on uh, TED Talk uh, about why are the bees disappearing and it's quite good. Uh, but this video is uh, a little bit different because we're gonna talk about bees in general. So the thing is that whenever you hear about bees, you might be thinking about these babies over here. These ones are honey bees. These ones are the ones that beekeepers use to produce honey or to pollinate crops. But did you know that around the world there's around 20,000 bee species? So the honey bees are just one bee species of those 20,000. The thing is that uh, these are the most common ones because uh, are the ones that produce the honey and the pollen that you consume. So if you consider the amount of uh, bee species that are out there, uh, honey bees, which is Apis mellifera, is just one species. And actually, uh, the social structure that honey bees have is quite rare as well because honey bees are social, uh, but most of those 20,000 bee species are solitary or have uh, different degrees of sociality. There are also hundreds of species of stingless bees. Yes, bees without a sting, they can sting you. Uh, they're native to the American continent. I think there are two species on Australia, um, but uh, most of them, we have them here in the American continent. So bees in general have different sizes like this one or this one, and colors like this one as well. Actually, I'm gonna post a link on the uh, description below to those pictures, because uh, there's a, a guy called Sam Droege in the United States. Uh, he's a photographer and entomologist, and he has these beautiful pictures of some of the bees that you can find uh, around the globe. So considering all that, um, when you hear that the bees are dying off, it's actually true that the bees, as in general, are dying off. The thing is that uh, because the honeybees have probably the most economic impact, um, those are the ones that you hear most news about. Uh, but the thing is that whatever is killing the bees, uh, the honeybees is killing the bees in general as well. So those bees that you don't see all the time, uh, the solitary ones or the bumblebees, um, are providing um, an ecosystemic service of pollination of crops uh, as well as uh, native species of uh, forest, for example. Basically, there are three factors affecting the bees. Pesticides, habitat loss, and diseases. The first two have to do with human activity. For example, regarding the habitat loss, the thing is that because there are so many bee species, uh, there are species that are specific to specific plants. For example, there are orchid bees. And these bees feed exclusively on orchids. So if, uh, for example, in a forest, um, because of human activity, the orchid ceases to exist, well, the bee is going to disappear as well. There are many bee species that make their nests in the ground. So because of a commercial crop, for example, uh, they're going to destroy the ground and they're going to destroy the nests and eventually those bees could disappear as well. The other factor is pesticides, and this is very controversial. Uh, I'm pretty sure you have seen on the news uh, that recently some pesticides were banned in the EU, 
and uh, there is no doubt that these pesticides have had killed many bees around the globe but this is something interesting that I found on a paper recently uh, actually I'm gonna link it on the description down below uh, if you want to have a read at it but the thing is that these pesticides besides killing the bees at very low doses are destroying the immune systems of the bees and there we go to the third factor which is uh, diseases and pests of the bees uh, as any other organism uh, bees have uh, diseases uh, it could be bacterial viral or even parasites and the thing is that uh, if uh, they have a normal high immune response um, these bees can fight off the all these diseases but the thing is that these pesticides are uh, messing up uh, the immune system of the bees so not only are they killing the bees directly but indirectly by lowering the immune response that the bees can have to fight off the diseases that they get. So when you consider all these three factors together, you can start painting a picture of why are the bees in general disappearing around the globe. So my intention with this video is to bring uh, a little bit of clarity of what are actually the bees, that the bees are not just the honeybees, and that uh, this is happening not just to bees but uh, with many insects so there is no clear way on how to save the bees and uh, because much of the problems are uh, because of the human activity and let's be honest we are seven billion people in this planet and that's not gonna get better anytime soon uh, it's really really hard so my view on this is that there is no clear easy way of saving the bees uh, but I think if we start being more conscious about it uh, probably we can start making better decisions as uh, on the impact that we have on this planet as humans so that's it for today's guys uh, I hope you like the video if you do click the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss on the any of the future videos and if you have uh, any questions or suggestions on this channel just drop a comment on the comment section below and i'll do my best to uh, answer the comments or make a video about any of the question questions that you might have so thank you very much and see you next week